All right, now we're going to talk about chlamydia a little bit. Yes. Chlamydia is a bacteria that can actually infect the urinary tract system. Most of the time you get it through sexual contact. That's right, oral or anal. Oral or anal. You can also, though, get it in your eye, and you can also get it in your rectum. And you can also get it in your throat. In fact, chlamydia is so sensitive, it's such a small bacteria that you can actually get it from touching. So if you touch yourself and you touch another person, make sure you keep one hand to yourself and one hand for your partner, and that way you don't get it mixed up. In fact, if you're changing going from rectum to vaginal, or either or, it's always recommended to change that condom so you don't transmit chlamydia back and forth. Or if you're using a toy, a sexual toy of some sort, you know, put a condom on the toy before you change. Right, now some of the signs and symptoms of chlamydia are pretty straightforward. You might get a little bit of burning with uh, urination, a little bit of discharge. Sometimes the discharge is a cloudy white or a yellow. Um, and also sometimes you might get a little bit of pelvic pain or you might get a little bit of itching as well. Yeah, oftentimes chlamydia though, it can be asymptomatic, so we recommend that if you're sexually active, you come in and get tested every 30 days to every three months. Right, the exposure time from chlamydia can actually be as short as 24 hours from symptoms up to six months. Now that's a huge time period. So if you think that you've been exposed, the easiest thing to do is get tested quickly. Um, but if you're having symptoms as well, is to contact us as well for that. Yes, and the test that we use for this is a PCR DNA test. So it's an early detection test for chlamydia. So we take this by urine, so there's no swab and no pain. Unless, of course, we suspect that you have it in the throat, then we would take a throat culture or a rectal specimen, which is called a rectal pap smear, to detect chlamydia. Now, if you're testing by internet, of course, we'll probably recommend that you go to your local provider for those um, tests that require the swab. However, if you're testing through us, we can do it definitely through the urine. Now, actually, we're going to get to the treatment for it, which is pretty simple. Um, you probably will get uh, one dose of medication, or you might get a seven-day treatment, depending on if you have any allergies to the medication. It's easy to take, usually not harmful to the stomach, um, and usually very little side effects. And it's your choice. If you want to take a pill for seven days, that's fine. If you want to take two pills at once, that's fine. Or if you want to drink a cup of liquid. Chlamydia is very easy to medicate and treat. However, if you do have a partner, we want to know because we'd like to medicate your partner as well. Absolutely right.